Hey guys, 420 Scene here, back at it again with another video. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a super stony day. Let me know what you're token on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted grow and smoke videos, or if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one grow help, totally check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right-hand corner over here. You know, I kind of just wanted to rock the Supreme Gore-Tex today. It's been a while. I really love these hats, and whoever gets butt hurt over my Supreme hat, you might as well just go like stand in line or something and renew that human race membership might be expired bro Just saying the last being the harvest video that I did I was rocking the supreme Gore-Tex on that video as well Which was the apple Betty which if you somehow missed it It's literally on the front page of my channel But anyway, even in a lot of my past videos I talk about oxygenating your water with a bucket pump and air stones now Most of the people that have tried it after watching my videos had really good success or even people that didn't watch my videos that we're doing already point be made a lot of people had really good success in their garden and of course there were the few that thought it was bro science which you know never actually applied it to any experience towards their assessment but you know that's none of my business but those of us that actually do grow will tell you how beneficial aeration is but I want to dive a little deeper than just tell you you know aerate your water you know but because there's always that why factor let's be real here though right your ladies need oxygen to grow remember in the last video where I was talking about how overwatering suffocates your roots. You remember why I said all that? Wake the fuck up. I'm asking you a question for real. It's because when you overwater, you're depriving them of oxygen. You know, now I'm not saying for you to just stop watering, but the whole point that I'm trying to make here is that your ladies do need oxygen to grow. This isn't anything new here. So I was looking at different resources online just to see if I'm the only one that thinks water aeration is beneficial in my garden. And honestly, from all the stuff that I was looking at, it really is, you know? I mean, I know I had really good experiences with water aeration, but I kind of wanted to see something written down from different resources and I did see a lot of the same things as I was talking about in a lot of my other videos. When I first started aerating my water, I didn't really know too much about it. I figured, well, it can't be bad for them, right? Because you're providing oxygen and your ladies need oxygen to grow. But at the same time, if nothing happened, then nothing happened. But it was at least worth a shot to just try and see if anything would happen. So that way, if I did learn some new things about how beneficial it is, you know, based on my ladies' characteristics and behavior, how they responded to water aeration, I could share with you guys. So that's why we're making this video. So from the resources that I was looking online after, you know, I experimented and tried the water aeration, I found out that there were studies done for years, you know, about dissolved oxygen. And from the research that I did, I found out that city and well water only contains eight ppm of dissolved oxygen. I thought it was like eight to 15, but it's eight ppm of dissolved oxygen. Whereas your ladies uptake most nutrients at 18 to 25 ppm of dissolved oxygen levels. So you're a little short here. I've heard some people that grow tell me that using the air stones to provide more oxygen in the water hasn't really done too much, but a majority of people have told me that it makes a major difference. I've always felt like it does make a major difference because my ladies have always responded positively whenever I throw the air stones in the bucket and turn on the pump. Like if I didn't feel like it was beneficial, I would never just come out with a video. See, I never come out with a video just to come out with content. It's gotta be beneficial. It's gotta help you guys in some way. And I I understand that water does have one molecule of oxygen, but trust me, just to stay with me, we'll get into all that. There are actually some special machines that are out there that work a little bit stronger than my method, but I think it can get pretty pricey, and I think you also need a pretty huge operation, which I don't have. You guys already know that. <laughs> I only have a few ladies because it's just for me and my wife, so the air stones and pump are the perfect answer for us. I feel like most of everyone watching my videos, aside from like maybe a select few, probably either don't have the money or the room to have like a major operation to get these commercial bubbling systems. So I at least wanted to mention it for those of you that, you know, have some kind of high scale operation, but most of us are just trying to grow and get faded, let's be real. Another thing is that you wanna make sure that your water doesn't get too hot or too cold. So like a good rule of thumb is to make sure that your water temperature doesn't get below 60 degrees because then your ladies put themselves on defense mode. It's kind of like even the air temperature, you wanna make sure it doesn't get below 60 degrees, which is why the Northeast is completely trashed during the flowering stage because once it gets like October, it gets below 60 and yeah, 
we kind of know how that goes. Unless, of course, you're at the end of flowering and then it doesn't really matter because you're trying to do that ice water trike boost trick that some people say is bro science, even though it's not bro science because it works. <laughs> now, on the flip side of things, you don't want your water to get too hot. So a good rule of thumb is to make sure that your water doesn't get over 80 degrees because that extra dissolved oxygen that you're trying to use to get better growth, it's going to be completely useless. So it's best to dissolve your oxygen between 60 and 80 degrees. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't water in 80 degrees or even a little bit over that. I, I generally personally like to stay in the 70s. I feel like the 70s are always the best. I even like the air temperatures in the 70s and the water temperature in the 70s as well. So if you stick to that rule, you get the most out of your water aeration. People have really been doing this for a long time, such as Larry from CMO. Some of you guys know who he is. He also happens to be one of my mentors. He's been doing this for like 50 years. He told me that if you're aerating your water to keep it between 20 and 30 ppms, when you do that, you're pretty much enhancing the performance of your ladies. Now, the best example I can give you on this is let's say you're running outside, like, I don't know, you're running from the cops or something and you're starting to lose oxygen because you're breathing a lot heavier. This would be like injecting a whole bunch of extra oxygen into you. So you're going to be able to run a lot longer without getting winded as easily <laughs> and not busted. <laughs> what a hell of an example though, right? So let's just say you're about to water and after you water, you ever realize how you get that sign of overwatering, that classic leaf curled overwatering look? It's because you're temporarily reducing their oxygen levels. So by aerating your water into them buckets and air stones, you're providing that extra boost of oxygen in your water. So you'll be less likely to suffocate those roots, even if it is temporary. Even if it like didn't do anything, like let's just say aerating your water doesn't do anything just for the sake of the video and the argument of such. You don't have anything to lose by aerating your water. Hook up your hoses to your pump, slap some air stones to the other side of the hose and just throw them bitches in the bucket. I mean, it takes a few seconds, right? So if you're in a position where you have everything to gain, you know, it's funny because I, I always say this in a lot of my past videos. You're in a position where you got everything to gain and nothing to lose. I mean, why would you just not do it? That's initially what my thinking was. And then I found out how beneficial it was. When I first started aerating my water, I always knew that roots loved oxygen. You need oxygen in the roots. And I was already brewing my own tea recipes. So I figured just why not try it with only water? And I had really good results with it. Straight up, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm not the most scientific guy. I just, <laughs> I just love to grow a bud, bro. Just leave me alone. I can still tell you what works and what doesn't work for me. You know, I've succeeded and I failed multiple times and I've taken the last decade. I've been trying to tell you guys what my experiences are so you don't have to go through as many of the bumps and bruises that I had to go through to get really good results. So thank you for that, assholes. For real, for real, right? You guys are extremely lucky to have not only me in your corner, but all these other amazing creators that are out there giving you all the information that you need. And there's some really great content creators out there. It's not just me. I didn't have that when I started. I didn't have all the information that you guys have, that you guys have at your disposal. I mean, yeah, there were a few people trying to grow on YouTube, but there wasn't really that all that much information out there. And everybody was really hush hush about horticulture. Plus like most of the people that I knew thought they, <laughs> most of a lot of these people, I'm thinking about it right now, they thought they were connoisseurs of the dang stank. Smoking is a lot different than trying to grow, but that's that's another story, okay? Time out real quick, right? So I feel like everybody's got that circle of friends where there's always that one dude that thinks he or she knows more about the herb than everybody else in the room. Everybody else in the room. Anybody out there know somebody like that? Like, totally let me know in the comment section below. I want some stories, bro. It actually reminds me, I haven't done a life story in a long time. So like, maybe we should do one. I'm thinking about doing a life story about all the friends that I knew and how they would always flex about knowing so much about Bud while at the same time, like knowing so little about it like i don't know let me know let me know about that in the comment section too let me know if you want me to do a story time about all those people that i know because i definitely know a lot of those characters but anyway i feel like i'm just rambling at this point the whole video is supposed to be about aeration and hopefully i gave you guys a good amount of information i feel like i have though so before anyone is skeptical on this whole water aeration thing just try it out for one run and see what results you're going to be getting now a majority of us already do it but this video is for a lot of beginners out there that aren't really really sure whether they should be aerating their water or not, or maybe any beginner that just stumbled upon this video and never even thought about oxygenating your water. So this could be something new for you guys if you haven't ever heard of 
aerating or oxygenating your water. I mean, just, just throw it in the bucket, you know? Just throw the water in a bucket, throw them air stones in there, and just, just try it out, you know? Why not? But I promise you, I'm finally gonna be closing out today's video. I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. To everyone else out there, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their week, and I'll see you guys on Friday, and also, before we do close out the video, we're gonna try to get back the three uploads from now until the end of December. So like the next, you know, so for September, October, November, until the end of December, we're gonna be going hard with three videos a week. Now I'm really gonna go. So as always, stay safe. You already know the drill. Peace.